Hi everyone, it's Kelly from Cranberry Fields here today to show you how to harvest zinnia seeds from your zinnia flowers that are in your garden. So it's about that time of year, it's fall when the flowers are starting to get a little bit burnt out, but there is a whole treasure trove of seeds right in your garden if you have zinnias. So what you're going to do is come out into your garden and take a look for some of the flower heads that are your favorite size and color and take a look and see if you can find the ones that are just about turning brown. And if you reach inside of them and you pluck out some of the dried flower petals, you'll see that there are what looks almost like an arrowhead at the end. Those arrowheads are the seeds that will give you full zinnia plants. If you dry them out, keep them in a cool, dry place and replant them in spring. So here are some things that you don't want to do. You don't want to take these seeds from plants that have what's called mildew on them. So you can see kind of like this dry, powdery uh, mildew buildup because these plants are the ones that are going to be most prone to mildew. So take a look through your garden and find the ones that don't have these mildew spots. I would look for a healthier version because there's a lot of them that won't have them. So you want to cut from your strongest, most beautiful varieties. And hopefully they'll give you similar plants next spring. So I cut a few of them this morning. And here's what some of the floral heads look like. Now this is your best bet here because these guys are super dry. So when they're super dry, they come off really easily. And these are some of the arrowhead seeds that were plucked from them. So when you plant them next year, you're basically just going to take off the top part and plant just the seedling, which is left behind. And some people will cut off some of the flower heads just like this, and they will leave your seeds behind. Now, some people make the mistake of cutting their zinnia heads too early, and the seeds really haven't had a chance to fully mature. So if the seeds look like this, even though they kind of do have that arrow shape, they're kind of white and they're very moist and they're not quite mature yet. Your best bet is to wait until they're browner and you can see that the seedlings are brown instead of white. And that means it's more of a mature seed. And once you pick out your most beautiful varieties and you pick out the nice, beautiful, mature seeds, you can either put them uh, in a paper bag and leave them in a cool, dry place some people recommend that you put them in mason jars and put them in the refrigerator until spring. Uh, so either way is fine. And then once again, you're just going to take off uh, the top piece and leave the arrowhead seed behind. And you're ready to plant them in spring and have a beautiful uh, garden that's double the size as it was this year. Enjoy, everybody.